what's the crack lads? Straight into our player of the week review. We do this every Thursday, so I hope you guys enjoy it. We've got a brand new pack here. It's 11 cards, as you see right here. Highlighted by Lewandowski and Saka with Dante, a classic old school beast of a card as well. The 40 years of age man. He is playing for Nice. He looks pretty decent. Honestly, he looks pretty decent. I mean, am I going to spin him? No, but these are the type of players that you'd have fun playing with. You know, imagine him and Pepe as a centre-back partnership, which is something we might do on our Road to Glory or a free-to-play account. Just be a bit of banter if we do spin for him on our free account. We don't have enough coins at the moment on this account, but uh, we'll see. Now, the rest of the cards, anytime there's a Lewandowski cards, I'm just going to do a quick Player of the Week uh, review and roundup here. Because I do feel like that these cards, if you are a newcomer, right, if you are somebody that is just playing the game um, recently and hasn't been playing the game for that long, usually a good general rule of thumb is if there are five players in the pack, it's kind of worth spinning for. And if there is less than five players worth in the pack that are worth spinning for, then I would leave it. I would skip it or else I would just get the free one from the event and take your chances. And in this pack here, I would say that there's only three decent players that you would probably want to spin for, which is Saka, Lewandowski, and DePaul. The rest of the cards that you have in here, they're kind of a mix. Obviously, Dante would be a bit of banter if you're into that and having a bit of crack, which, I mean, who has fun with video games these days? Honestly, I mean, video games are not meant to be fun, right? I mean, they're meant to be played, you know, as if, uh, as if your life depends on it to win every game. But uh, no, Dante would be a bit of banter, man. I would definitely, he'd be somebody up my alley I would definitely like that guy because he'd have a he'd have a bit of banter about him, I would say. But his 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 card isn't actually too bad. I mean, I know he's as slow as a, a wet week, but genuinely he does have good interception, blocker, area superiority. Uh he doesn't have acrobatic clearance, that's the only thing you can't train him. But if you compare him to the other cards in this, Mosquera as a CB destroyer, he's very slow as well. I mean, he's a face only a mother would love. And also, on top of that, man marking, interception, and blocker is a must now for pretty much any centre back. Any GP centre back worth their salt will have that skill set or them, them skills, you know, locked in. So I definitely feel that it's kind of a weak enough card as well, especially as you can't train him, you can't do anything. You're just stuck with this guy. So Dante definitely would be better than him. We also have Tillman here, a very, very standard whole plane left midfielder, but can also play AMF. One thing I don't understand, lads, is why these player of the weeks still have, you know, the faded green for the position in the top right there? Why they have secondary uh, formation or position play styles? Because you can't train at them. You can't train any new uh, position proficiencies on these cards. Fairly nice player skills. The American man has first time shot, one touch pass, through passing and outside curler, long range shooting and acrobatic finishing. But the rest of his stats are just very average. It's a very average left midfielder or attacking midfielder at this stage. The same follows true for the rest of the players on this. Again, 81 balance, 83 tie possession. It's just not added at the moment with a standard generic face as well. These cars are just not it at the moment. Even Gomez, who's down as a CB, fairly okay tackling, fairly okay speed. It's not a bad card at all. But there's just so many players that you can get now for GP even that you just don't even need to take the chance of getting a spin for. Now, if you do spin for him and you get him, you can throw him in. He's going to be an, an upgrade on your squad if you if, if you don't have a 95 plus CB that you're very set on. Um, but the rest of the cards, you know, Muslera there as your goalkeeper, 82 catch and 85 uh, parrying, but 91 reflexes. Again, a fairly standard goalkeeper, the 37-year-old, low punt, long throw, captaincy, fairly standard goalkeeper for what you're going to be getting at this stage of the game. And a lot of the time it is for newcomers, which, you know, if you are a newcomer, there is a lot to enjoy early doors in this game you know building a squad getting the best players in training up each position as it comes i wish the grind was a little bit harder but you know it is what it is at the moment you can just buy your way to the top you know and actually get really decent players depending on how much you want to spend uh and i i would feel that if you are going to be spending uh, a lot then you need to get the most bang for your buck or if you're not going to be spending a lot you need to get the most bang for your buck if you're spending a lot you're not worried about these player of the weeks too much you can just buy them and discard them it's only a couple of hundred coins if you look at it that way we have our first booster uh again this is a left midfielder that can play attacking midfielder konami seem to be very much so able to have players that are down as left midfielders or either box to box or hold players that are left or right midfielder but that will play as an attacking midfielder as well so i like that for sub tactic excellent player skills double touch heel trick doesn't have one touch pass or first time shot doesn't have ball roll and his balance is what lets him down here the rest of his stats are quite decent low pass is poor 
and his balance is poor. But other than that, it's a fairly okay card. But it's a very poor selection in this. I would say that there's probably... I would even throw Isaac in there as well. Yes, he's got 90 attack and awareness. Yes, he's got 85 finishing. Yes, he's got 80 acceleration. But his balance is woeful. And I do feel that even though he's got one touch pass, he has first time shot as well. He has acrobatic finishing. But he does have flip-flap soul control, but not double touch. So this is a bit of a problem with these cards that don't have the trio of those. They are a little bit clunky. And Isaac is definitely not running gun, even with these stats. Because he's just too tall, man. He's just too big. Um, but yeah, I would say that there is probably the eight of these players... I will throw Dante into his own separate mix because he's obviously just there for a bit of crack. But I would say that the eight of these players are just not worth spinning. So your odds are for these three. And even at that Lewandowski, I have never got on with Lewandowski. It's not just about his slow, kind of clunky play style or how he handles himself, his AI. Yes, he can bang goals in. I mean, I probably annoyed a few people last video where I talked about Haaland. Haaland is, can score goals for you. Haaland can beast for you. And he can score a lot of goals if you play to his style of play. But so can Collar. You know, a collar has no speed whatsoever. But if you play and you have a play style where you're going to be, you know, lobbing the ball into collar, breakdown, whatever. The problem is when you're reviewing players, 90% of people don't use the players for a specific play style. They use a specific play style and fit the players in around that. So that's why you have these videos where it's like, you know, where I make, oh, Romario versus uh, Saviola. And people are very interested, is there a difference between them? Or Mbappe versus Latoura Martinez. Any card can do a job for you if you have your heart set on them doing a job for you, if that makes sense. And if you are a newcomer, that is one of the biggest things I explain in my beginner's guide. I would definitely check that out. But finishing at 93, heading at 88, they're all going to get the manager boost as well as his booster boost. Jumping in physical contact is pretty decent. And the rest of his stats are quite nice and skills are quite nice as well. But it's not a card really to worth spinning for. So I would say that out of the 11 players, there's probably only two players that are worth spinning for. And a CMF to Paul is quite disappointing that is only 94 rated he's got fairly decent stats very good all-rounder kind of reminds me of Lorente that's who he kind of reminds me of he also still has his old hair hairstyle he doesn't have flip flap he does double touch and soul control doesn't have one touch pass he does have true passing but no low lofted so it's a bit of a mix up of a card now he does have 80 aggression I'm going to make a video on 80 aggression very soon because yeah, a lot of people still not really understanding um, what aggression does. So that's going to be something that we will definitely talk about later on in the stream as well. And then, of course, we have Saka. Are you going to go all out for Saka? Well, if you're a Liverpool or if you're an Arsenal fan, Jesus, I'll get in trouble with saying he's a Liverpool fan. If you're an Arsenal fan, yes, you are. It's going to be an easy choice for you to go for this Saka because it is a nice card. Yes, it doesn't compare that much or it does compare a lot depending on which other version of Saka that you have. Scissors Faint is nice, long range curler, soul control, one touch pass, it's a very nice card with track back as well, big acceleration and speed, lovely finishing, lovely dribbling, ball control, tight possession and balance, it's a very decent card that's going to be very silky when you dribble with him, but in terms of this player of the week, I would say this is probably one of the worst player of the weeks they've ever released, and I don't say that lightly, if you are a newcomer, even at that, yes, there are a couple of gems in here if you're talking about upgrading your squad from standard GP. But in terms of, you know, these, you'll probably only get maybe about 10, 15 games out of these um, before you actually notice that it's like, yeah, they're just not cutting the mustard, even compared to GP players, you know. So that is it for the Player of the Week, lads. I will be streaming in a little bit. Don't forget to check it out. Don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. And we'll talk to you in a bit.